our second trip down to the boat to get it ready for the trip up. Last time it was just Max and I. This time there's Tara. Hi. Turn the leaks on. Sharon. Hi. Max is, okay, well Max is getting the van or the truck parked into the driveway. So you'll see him in the next shot. As you can see, we're pretty full. We have a roof rack on the top of the, the van full of stuff too. So we're ready to fill the boat up. And it's 10 after 6 in and the after. morning on August. You can't see the clock. But. On August 6th. Okay. I think it's the 6th. There's Max. Hi Max. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're back in Connecticut. In fact, we're all the way back to New London and Tara's driving. She's going to take us to our boat, which if she can find it because it's kind of like a maze. And there's Sharon back Hi. there. It's an exciting time. Oh, I can get you both in at the same time. Hey. There. There's Max and Sharon. Tara's running into this guy here. So we're going to go down to the boat and in a minute it's going to be Tara's first time to see it. Am I going to be turning here? No, you're going to keep going straight. So we'll talk to you soon. Okay, here we are at Burr's Marina. And we're just moments away from Tara actually seeing the boat and Max and Sharon. And I don't know if I got a good shot of this marina before. It's a big marina. And that's another marina over there. And there's Tara getting ready to see it for the first time. First time Tara saw the boat. I'm going to get run over by Adam. Hi, it's awesome. It rides very nicely. We had a little bit of an adventure coming in. It was a little bit of an adventure. But they, the engine stopped and they drifted into dock. But we're safe and we didn't kill anybody else's boat, which Actually, is the most important thing. We had a time to perfection. Yes. To hit the dock and tie up. <laughs> That's right. So it quit on the it was, precise time. It was, yeah. it was a planned malfunction. There you go. However, <laughs> uh, I just ran longer than I've ran in the last 10 years. <laughs> Tara needs her treadmill. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, she has a little bit of a cold though too. So. I'm sick. Yeah. A lot of dirt. Okay, here we are in the boat. There's Sharon and Tara. Hi. Hi. As you can see. I'm tired. I'm tired. Max is tired. Sharon's tired. Oh, tired. Tara's tired. We're all hot. But it is a ton cleaner than what it was. Oh, yeah. You can it see is. nice clean roof. The curtains. Look. Look at those cupboards. Look at those covers. Wow. <laughs> They're clean. Look and at that. You can't see the V-birth, but it's clean here. We'll go walk around the corner. Ooh, look how clean that is. Tara's in there cleaning the bathroom. So it's a ton cleaner than what it was. We've got the engine compartment cleaned up, which I got to take some pictures for Scott, who's the guy that's putting the electrical mo electric motor in for us. We're putting it together. We're putting it in, and um, we got the toilet working, which is good. The prop shaft is moving. Our drain in our sink isn't going all that fast, but we think it's a little plugged. There's some other things we're not too sure about. Yet. We don't know how to fill our water tank yet. But we think it's these little things under here. And we know that they go under there under, somewhere. Under there, see? see? Right there. We don't know if that's how you fill it though. It seems like a weird way to fill a tank. But we may, that may be our only resort because that's all we got right now. We've had it open. Yeah, it's yeah, just a great big tank. So as you can see, this is kind of the adventure of the adventure of the lion's den. Open it and look what's inside. Still, re still named Condor, but we'll get it changed once we figure out how to float the boat. That's the tank. You could fill it that way, eh? I would think. That yeah. explains why some people you see on sailboats coming down with hoses down below. Oh. Who's that, hon? Hold the cushion for him while he's here. Okay. Okay, signing out. Here's our boat condor. There's Tom going to our boat condor. Are you able to zoom with this? Uh, How? We just How the hell do you zoom normally? <laughs> like we know. Oh. So that tells you how big our boat is. She's still a little dirty on the outside because we really focused on the inside.
those decks are gorgeous. But that's our boat. We're very excited. And this is a very strange system for docking. If you notice, we're not actually attached to a dock. All right, honey. That's our boat. We used to be out at a mooring way out there. And then dad and Tom brought it in and we were supposed to be docked way over there. But what happened was, is the motor stopped right about, uh, let me see, about there. And then we drifted in over here. And then we went from there and walked her around to there. That's why our boat is all alone. That would be why our boat is all alone. Because if you notice, there's no other boats around us. Not really used it. However, when you drift, because you don't have an engine because it stalls, that's what you have to do. Have an engine. That little sails. engine right there is what they brought it in with, and the sails didn't work because the lines were all screwed up. This is our final thing we're taking back.